this for, for everybody that doesn't know me yet. Um, and I have an intense love for science. And within that love of science, I want to talk to you guys about magnets. Uh, so if somebody, I'm going to actually ask you guys a question. Does anyone know which is stronger? The immense force of gravity, something that holds planetary bodies together, it holds us to the ground, or a little small magnet that I have. Anybody? I don't know. Well, anyways, <laughs> I don't expect anyone to actually know that question, but through my research, I have learned, I see you, Jason. <laughs> through my research, I have learned that magnets are extremely powerful. They are much more powerful than uh, gravity is. I will demonstrate that to you in a few minutes. Um, also through that research, I have learned the practical use of magnets today, and hopefully the really near future. So let me actually start off with showing you guys a little magic trick. I know everyone really likes magic, right? So right here I have a little small magnet right here on top of this box, and I have my heat chain. And this is going to help me prove to you guys that gravity is so weak. God, it's so weak. Um, so here we go. My little heat chain. Top of the magnet, and there we go. Now with gravity, it's supposed to pull us down. I jump, I come back down. Why isn't this coming down? Because gravity is so much weaker than the force of this magnet. Now to prove my point, I have another keychain. Why I have two, that is a question you should ask me later. <laughs> so put that here, and there we go. Oh. There. Now, within that force of gravity, um, it would actually pull out, uh, pull off of that magnet because there will be enough weight. That eventually, this magnet would probably hold two or three more keychains along with it. Um, and with saying that, uh, this is actually a very practical use of a magnet. Well, this magnet right here, the whole keychain. Um, does anyone know something that we use magnet today? Any practical use of magnet today? Refrigerators. Refrigerators. All right, there we go. Anyone else? Okay. And one, one, one. Jason? Engines. Engines? Yes, engines do use them. Now, refrigerators are the most common one. Everyone knows refrigerators, right? Putting that A plus on the. I say, for my case, it's the D to prove myself that I'm going to do better, right? <laughs> um, so, anyways, so let's move on from this one. The one I brought here is a good magnet. This is a very strong magnet. Uh, this magnet we put underneath a uh, vehicle because for that fateful day, you do forget your keys or you lose it in the car because you locked yourself out. This action magnet is so powerful, it holds up underneath the body of the car, and it goes out and holds throughout all the motions of your day. You know, people who go 100 miles an hour, right? Uh, I see you out there, Carlos. I see you. <laughs> so, with that said, this magnet holds your key for that fateful day. This is a very practical use for a magnet. So, showing you guys a practical use for a magnet, I want to go off into the near future. Hopefully, with the right funding for California, and right with Japan, we will uh, create a thing called a Hyperloop. Anyone know Hyperloop? Yeah. Jason knows anyone else? You do? Well, within a Hyperloop, for those of you who do not know, it is a floating train. Anyone want to understand what a floating train? How is that possible, right? Magnets. Magnets. It will be, from what I read in with, uh, from my research, uh, it will be in a little trench with three magnets on the side. One on the bottom, two on the side. This, this, uh, the magnets will be so powerful that it will hold the train about a foot off the ground. Frictionless, frictionless train. Anyone want to understand how a frictionless train is awesome for our society, for our society? Well, in that case, I want to tell you why it is important. Because it's going to be able to make us go so fast, it'll be faster than a plane. In perspective, from San Francisco to LA, an hour trip on a plane, 35 minutes on this hyperloop. There we go. Fastest, fastest mode of transportation. And with the right funding, this could be possible for California. Now, uh, for the conclusion of my day, I want to go ahead and just end and uh, uh, have a little reflection on what I just said. Magnets are super powerful, right? Saw my team match trick, right, Carlos? And then you also saw. Um, my little demonstration about what you do with that magnet. And then, what is the near future for us? The Hyperloop. And hopefully, with the right funding, the right intelligent minds, we as a society will be able to make new things, brand new things, with endless possibilities of magnets. 